Freya. Oh dear, what has happened? I don't want to be bald. Sweetheart, don't you get upset. It'll grow back. That's what Mum said. Listen, you are beautiful no matter how much hair you've got, okay? You know that, don't you? Of course she does. Where's Jack? Dad's got him. I'm just gonna go and feed him. Don't forget to give my pitch to Cameron, please. Okay. See you soon. Babe, I can take that. No, because after today he's gonna be gone. Amy's waiting to clean this room. Yeah, I'm just going. Oh. Getting out while you still can, eh? Never mind poor little Sarah in hospital having chemo. I said goodbye to her yesterday, not that that's any of your business. Well, of course it's my business. I'm practically her auntie. And what about Chaz? Are you bidding her a fond farewell and all? Still, you've wreaked your havoc, eh? What reason have you got to stay? Well, if you're not out in ten minutes, I'll have to charge you an extra night. Marlon, have you heard from Charity? Oh, yeah, it went to voicemail. They must be at the hospital. Oh, we should send some flowers or something. It was Gabby or Arthur ill. Oh, don't, don't, thank you. We're very lucky. The flowers are a great idea. Oh, Lizzie, hey, wait, wait, you nearly... Oh, what? Ne sorry, no, it's fine. You nearly stepped on uh, Arthur's feet. Oh, sorry. I can cope with a bit of mess. Uh, we're getting everything ready for Gabby. Huh? Yeah, she's having a sleepover tonight. Here? It's promising. Yeah, well, let's not kid ourselves. She'd rather have it at the pub if she was allowed. Still, you know, it's a step in the right direction. If it goes well, she might come around to the idea of living here again. Yeah, well, let's not hold our breath. Um, Arthur, are you ready? I'll drop him off. You should get to work. Hey, listen, do you want me to make myself scarce tonight? Oh, no way. I need all the moral support I can get. <sighs> I spent two days solid in that embassy and they were absolutely no use whatsoever. I said, my daughter's giving birth and I need to be there. How was I to know that some pickpocket would nab me passport? Well, you're here now, so... <laughs> yeah. And I can't wait to meet my granddaughter. Oh, I brought her this. <laughs> it's not very Moroccan, but it's the only thing I could find at the airport. Thank you. <gasps> Brenda! You finally made it home. At last. May I? Mm -hmm. Have you, you washed your hands? Uh, stop oh. it. Hello, sweetie oh. pie. Oh, aren't you a funny little thing? Tea? Please, yeah. <laughs> Must be worth a few quid. You know what you should do, babe? You should flog it and throw a party or something. Why? What have we got to celebrate? Sarah's recovery. No, I'm going to go and you're going to take five minutes. I think she likes me. Babies do. It's a natural gift. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd been there for the birth, though. Uh -huh. Thought of you writhing around on the floor of the B&B in your bridesmaid's dress. Uh -huh. Oh, dear. How is Chaz, anyway? We don't really talk about it. All right. <laughs> I'll never forgive myself for leaving you to cope on your own. Oh, I've had lots of people. And Nick Hill's been brilliant. <laughs> well, wouldn't say brilliant. <laughs> All the same. It must have been a terrible strain. You look completely washed out. Actually, Brenda, Jenny's been a tower of strength. Oh, I won't go that far. No, it's true. You should be very proud of her. Oh, I am. I am. Just a little touch of blush I wouldn't go on this. No, that's what I said. Do you want me to get home or not? Thank you for not mentioning me, you know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Things will get better. How? He's just a bloke. <laughs> I know they might have the uses, but when it comes down to it, what are they really good for? Anyway, 
He means nothing to me now. That's the spirit, babe. Think about us lot. We're a lot more important. Sarah and Jack and me and your dad. Look at me. It's going to be all right. <laughs> what time tomorrow? It'll be on the tickets. Mm -hmm. Have you spoken to Jude yet? We need to arrange the funeral now that the body's been released. OK, don't go on. Hi. Uh, 155. Thanks. How are they bearing up? Well, yeah, none of us can believe it. OK, bye. I don't know what's wrong with Colleen. Sticking the kids on a plane by themselves barely a week after their dad's died. What? Colleen's not coming with them? No. So she can't face it. Who can? Don't know what I'm going to say to Thompson, are you? Do you want me to talk to the estate agent? Why? They can't sell the house until we know who it belongs to. I think we ought to move back in. No. It's full of Carl's stuff. I can box it up. Oh, I forgot. You're chuffed that he died. Jimmy, I'm trying to be organised. We can't all fit in here. It's Thomas, Anya, plus Scarlett, and Brenda's back. What do you suggest? We pitch tents in the garden? Do whatever you want. Just come for the rest of my stuff. Yeah? Help yourself. Right. Give my love to Sarah when you see her, yeah? <laughs> I can't just stop caring about her. Right, so you can humiliate me and still be friends with my daughter. You were supposed to say bye yesterday, not fill her head with rubbish. Well, it didn't feel right. Why would I care how you feel? Just go and don't come back. Cheers, Andy. Uh... Oh, and, uh... And a chocolate muffin. I didn't ask for that. It's for Sarah. Tell her we're rooting for her. All right, thanks. Oh, I, I can't imagine what you and Debbie are going through. Hopefully in a few weeks it'll all be behind you, mate. Yeah, that's what I want to keep saying. Hey. Sally's feed. I'll sleep for you if you're lucky. How is she? Wondering where you are. I'll just give Sarah that. Oh, yeah, cheers. I, um... I had to sort some of Cameron's stuff out. She says she drew my picture. Oh, damn, I forgot about that. Well, she doesn't need to know I didn't get it, does she? Oh, what, so I'm lying to her? At least he's gone now. Yeah, yeah, and my troubles are over. Do you have to go? You don't need me anymore. Don't worry, she wasn't happy about you turning up in the first place. Thank you. Are you ever going to learn to think before you open your mouth? Sorry. No, it's OK. I mean, we did get off to a shaky start, but now I can't wait to call you my daughter-in-law. So, when are you going to set a date? Oh, we'll get round to it, won't we? Yeah, we've got more important things to worry about at the moment. Oh, don't leave it too long. Might just pop upstairs and say goodbye before we set off. Do you know, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm going to miss her. You me now, then? I suppose it is. Mm. Hey, you hungry? Bob sent this for you. No, oh, don't we all get one? That was nice of him, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you give Cameron my picture? Uh, babe, I, I didn't. I, I missed him. Sorry. Oh. You know what? I was talking to the doctors and they've told me that you've got to get loads of sleep now. So I'm going to have to go off and get the bandanas. You're going to be dead trendy. Yeah. Yeah. Might even get us all one, yeah. Well, you don't have to do that. Can I have this now? Yeah, babe, of course you can. I'll get you a plate. I'll come with you. 
not going to be long. I'll, uh, I'll go and check, actually. Any sign of Cameron? It's gone. Jersey. You're not following him. Can't make any promises. You did promise. Debs, he's broke your I heart. I don't care. It's over. Finished. And he gets the message, don't you? Okay. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to have to get back. Check that Edna's not been sexually harassing the drivers. <laughs> Hey, you're going to be all right on your own. I'm not on my own. I've got Jack and Sarah. They're all that matter now. Oh, can you two just stop? As long as I never see him again and Chaz is banged up for the next 20 years, I'm fine. I'm happy. Please, I really need to see her. You can't just turn up here when it suits you. This isn't an holiday camp. Right, I'm leaving today, OK? This is my last chance. There must be something you can do. No. Oh, I'm done. Hey, you cooking a field? Sorry. Save me from that sorry, maniac. Sorry, I'm trying to discover what she'd do on the dance. Right. Oh. Who fancies some street dancing? What? Well, Kira's going to teach us a few moves, aren't you, darling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I feel a pint coming on. Oh, come on, Sandy. Aren't you coming home for your tea? Pub, anyone? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, you're not going to abandon me, are you? No, of course not. Uh, <laughs> Come on. You come and sit in the front. I thought I told you to leave. I'm, I'm booked on a ferry at midnight. That's what you're doing here. Oh, I'm going to go about saying goodbye. They nearly didn't let me in. Yeah, I know. I've got a right ticket up. Hi, Sarah. She started her chemo. Fingers crossed then, eh? Went to see her yesterday. Debbie agreed to it. I suppose to say goodbye, I couldn't do it. Yeah, well, everyone hates goodbyes, don't they? That's why you should just go and make it a lot easier. Sorry. What about the first? Fine. Whatever. Maybe I should uh, come back when he's feeling a bit more. Mm, this is as good as he gets. The first is fine. Oh. Hi, Jimmy. Um, why aren't you at the office? Because he's arranging Carl's funeral. Of course. I'm so sorry. Hi, Vicar. Hi. Uh, well, I'll book it in and we can talk about the details later. Thanks. And uh, if you need someone to talk to... I don't. Right. Hey, guys. Listen, I'm so sorry for your loss and everything. But I kind of need to ask a question. Um, how much did Cameron pay you for that truck back? Because I just, I can't find an invoice. There isn't one. I gave it to him. For nothing? Are you mad? I was doing the... The decent thing. This is the bloke who was bonking your brother's killer, right? I thought you'd be glad he's finally gone. Oh, yes, I am, but I wasn't planning on giving him a freebie. Oh, do you know what, Jimmy? I think you're losing it. I'm not prepared to talk about it. Jimmy gave the van back. What did you do that for? I felt bad about the blackmail. Just giving us back our money as well. What, all of it? Hmm. Right, well, you need to give Diane back what we owe her. OK, that's what you want. Yeah, of course it's what I want. I think I'm proud of ripping off a mate. Right, that's all. You're going to be OK, right? I'm going to have to be. So, does anyone know what's happening with Carl's shares? Did he leave a will? He wasn't planning on being murdered. Right, yeah. So I guess everything will be going to Thomas and Anya then, yeah? And what's that to you? Well, I'm just trying to work out the legalities, you know? And to be fair, I'm just trying to make life very easy for Jimmy right now. Which is why I've brought you this. OK, so it's a contract of sale for your shares 
of the company like we agreed. Just a couple of signatures and then I'll be on No my... way. I'm not having you trampling all over his grief to make a bass book. That is fine. We can talk about this some other time. Jimmy, this is a good offer, yeah? <laughs> you are a natural in this, Gabby! I know! You're overdoing the hand and you're doing it wrong! But that is not my strong suit! No! What? No, it is my strong suit! <laughs> I thought I asked you to put this somewhere safe. It was somewhere safe. Yeah, well, hardly. Come and apologise to Lizzie. Why? It's not my fault she's blind. Gabby. I'm going home to Dad. No, you're going to go upstairs and do as you are told now. I hate it here. I hate you and I hate him and I hate her most of all. I'm, Lizzie, I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry. So... Girls, look, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to take you home. Do you want to get your stuff? If they're going home, so much. You get up those stairs! I don't want to hear another word from you! At last. Do you have business to run, thanks? And Jimmy's no use whatsoever at the moment. You, can you blame him? No, I don't blame him. I blame Carl for getting himself bumped off before he signed my contract. Wow. Oh, uh... He was a manipulative little slime ball. How's Debs? Please tell me you've not been hassling her about Cameron. She still loves him. Well, that's not what she said earlier. Read between the lines. She was in bits. I'm just glad he's finally done the decent thing and scarpered. Yeah, and he better keep running. Boys will be excited to see you. Yeah. Not sure Anna's gonna feel the same. I feel bad leaving you. Don't. I'm gonna be spending the rest of my life slopping out, so what does it matter anyway? No point in your life being ruined at all. You're gonna get out of here, okay? It was it was manslaughter, not murder. You were defending yourself. I still ended up killing a bloke that everyone knows that I hated. It's not really gonna look good on my CV. No jury's going to send you down for something you didn't do. Only I did do it. I thought about writing Thomas and Anya a letter, you know, trying to explain everything, but I just didn't know where to begin. Let's not kid ourselves. Whatever sentence I get will be less than I deserve. On the house. Why? Not as if we're bosom buddies. In fact, it's thanks to you I missed my daughter giving birth. Oh. And how is Jenny bearing up? She's taken to motherhood like a duck to water, apparently. Still, I suspect a good night's sleep wouldn't go amiss. Oh. Plus, she's got all that worry over Chaz. Any news on that front? Her lips are sealed. Well, at least Cameron slung his hook. Has he? Checked out this morning. What? Well, if I were you, I'd have duffed him up. Yeah, I'm not very good with violence. You have to be philosophical. Me and Chas, she would have done the dirty on me sooner or later. True. But at least she could have waited till after the wedding night. Oh, didn't even get his conjugal. Make Shame. way! Hey, Lizzie! <laughs> you managed to escape! <laughs> How, uh, Gabby and Lara? Not good. Gabby threw a wobble and Laurel ended up sending it to bed. In that case, I suppose I'd better go and try and smooth things over. I'll go. Show around. Pensioner, my dear chap. No, no rounds, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, bye. I guess this is it. Yeah. Well, have a good life. You're gonna get out of that, I promise you. It's not really a promise you can deliver on, though, is it? Listen. I don't regret what we did. 
I'm not saying I'm proud of myself, but... Well, before you came along, I'd forgotten what real passion was like. Come on, now. I still love you. I wish I didn't. Yeah, I feel the same. Listen, I'm, I was just trying to do the right thing, you know that, right? Yeah. Look where it got you. You better go. Listen, I can't. I'm, I, I'm not doing this. What? I'm not doing this, OK? I'm, why should I run off with my tail between my legs? If Kane's out to get me, then fine, bring it on. No, I don't be daft. I'm not scared of him. When I leave, I'm taking you with me. Until then, I'm not going anywhere. I found one of these under my bed. <laughs> it is yours, I presume. Thanks. Yeah, you moved down in a bit of a hurry. Well, it's only temporary until we know what's what. Right. And, well, we can't all fit in at your place. Jimmy's happy being back here? No, but then he's not happy full stop. I wish I knew how to help him. Scarlett's getting here on Wednesday. Oh, well, that's good news. And Jude's coming round tomorrow to finalise arrangements for the funeral. Can you sort out the wine? Yeah, of course. Anything you need. Thanks. Jimmy, I, uh, I, I don't want to hassle you, but Charity's behaving as though she's queen of all she surveys. It would help if you could put in an appearance. Uh, Thomas and on you won't be getting here till later. Are you good to get out of the house? Now, go and show her that you're still the controlling partner. Now, she's getting ideas way beyond... Honestly, Dad, there's just no getting through to him. You were late last night. <coughs> Sorry, love. I tried to be as quiet as I could. No, 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 no. I wasn't having a go. Mm. This is your room as well. You can do what you like. Right. Um, somebody has got something to say to you, Lizzie. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's no need to apologise, love. Told you. Uh, no, no. We treat everybody with respect in this house, Gabby. Oh. No need, love. You know, just forget it. Uh, is the bathroom free? Yes, yes, sorry. Yeah, help you. Uh, Gabby, can you get your stuff ready for kids' club, please? Emily and Kira won't talk to me again. Now you've spoiled our sleepover. No, Gabby. No. You spoilt it by being spiteful to Lizzie. Do you understand? I'm sick of arguing with you. I won't be staying here again anyway. Why did you change your mind? You know what? I want to be here for you. Yeah, you say that, but then you've said stuff like that before, haven't you? And then two minutes later, you're back on with Debbie. Not this time, trust me. <sighs> That's the problem. I've been thinking about that all night, and you're just not that trustable, are you? I love you. I've heard you say that no. Lords of times. But be honest, Cameron, you've always loved Debbie more. No. no. Listen, me and Debs, it's always been about Sarah, OK? It was her illness that kept us together. You were going to get married. I'm just not sure I can pin all my hopes on you. You, Chaz, you are what matters to me, OK? I, I love you, but I feel responsible for you. I want to believe you. I swear I will never let you down again. You better not, because I need you so much. I'm yours now. For better or worse. How's Jimmy doing? <sighs> not good. I can't get through to him. He's grieving. Well, aren't we all? Well. Must be weird. The last bloke you slept with is now lying in a morgue. Are you coming to the funeral? Haven't decided yet. Oh, Jimmy, how are you? Fine. You ready? The flight doesn't get in till two. Doesn't it? And I'm not sure I can leave Megan on her own. No, no, go on. It's not a problem. You can't sit there for three hours. Nothing else to do. You could go into work. No, thanks. Oh, for heaven's sake, Jimmy, you need to get off your backside. It's not fair, Edna and my dad having to cope with charity on their own. 
OK. Try not to sign away the company while you're there. Don't you think you're being a bit hard on him? Oh, I've tried being nice, it don't work, and he's a bit tough, love. Well, he's married to the right woman, then. Oh, seriously, Megan. If he don't pull himself together soon, we're gonna lose everything. Debbie's not gonna be happy. Nor's Kane. I mean, it's all right for me stuck in here, but... out there, you're easy picking. Don't worry about that. I'll keep a low profile. All that matters is getting you out of here. Well, Biggie, then. Right. I'm gonna give Diane back what we owe her. And with the rest of the cash, I'm gonna find the best lot of money can buy. Are you sure it's worth it? I mean, there's still a good chance I'll go down. Hey, I'm not thinking like that, so neither are you. Edna, where are the bin bags? We should wait for Mr. James. Mr. James has not shown his face around here since Mr. Carl was murdered by my cousin. So you know what? Let's not hold our breath. Don't you think you're being a bit tactless? Sorry, haven't you just driven to Halifax to pick up an order that was cancelled three weeks ago? And you do realise there are dockets on here that haven't even been put on the system yet? I can assure you I have kept everything up to date. I'm not arguing, Edna! I want this office clearing now! Mr James, I will not be spoken to like this. What are you doing? I am trying to run a business. Who said you could throw that lot out? Thank you. No! No, these are Carl's personal belongings that I have put in a box to give to you to take home. Don't try and turn me into a monster. And these need signing. You can do that. No, I can't until you hand everything over. And sometime soon works for me. He's not himself, you can see that. Excuse me, Rodney. My granddaughter is currently undergoing chemo in hospital, which is where I should be right now, actually. My daughter is falling apart at the seams, and I have been here since the crack of dawn doing the work that you lot can't be bothered to do. So you're not the only one whose world is falling apart. OK. <sighs> Thank you. This place is a shambles. The sooner you sign that contract, the better. See, the trouble is the latch has come off the bathroom door, so little I have there, it's all just coming in and catching me about my business. Oh. Kids are a nightmare. Oh, saying that, you got to love them. Isn't that right, Dan? Hey? Sean? Oh, yeah. They mean everything to me. <sighs> well, just as well, though. No one else that wants me. You're still a right catch. Says the other woman that dumped me. Lizzie, can't you cheer him up? What, am I a social worker? These two are the right barrel of lost today. I thought you liked living at Marlon. I do, but when I moved in there, well, they were full of single people. Right, I've got good news, gang. If we finish this order by lunchtime, we get an extra £10 in our pay packet. £10? What sort of bonus is that? Oh, come on, Lisa. Every little bit counts. Right, Lizzie, what are you doing tonight? Oh, well, as long as they're in the street, does it? No, definitely not. Me and Marlon, we were going to get a pizza and watch a DVD. Ice Age 2, what do you reckon? Well, yeah, it sounds lovely, love, but I'm going on the latch with Dan. Oh, yeah. Well, it's just a thought, but, you know, if you change your mind... Defo. The film that, Ice Age 2? I think they need the space. I'd much rather be going out on the pool with you. True. I'm not going out on the pool with anyone. So what's happened to me? <sighs> There's a pain in my heart, but I don't think I'll ever go away. Well, at least you're not suffering in silence, eh? What the hell are you doing back? Change plan, I'm not going anywhere. You what? I'm not leaving, not with things the way they are. You actually think I'd ever want you back? No, of course not. I'm talking about Chaz, I'm sticking by her. Without me, she's got no hope of getting off the murder charge. Hold on a minute. You and Chaz were finished. You were over. What can I say? I love her. I'm going to stay out of your way and Sarah's. I don't... I'm not trying to hurt you. Don't! You flatter yourself. You can't touch me anymore. No. That's a good thing, right?
Te lo dice. Oi, what you want that for? Debbie? Back off! Are you having a fight? No, it's okay. What the hell are you doing? Hey, that's criminal damage. Do you want me to call the police? Look, just don't get involved. You're right. He's checked back in. Not in Val Lane. She's got a business to run. He's always hanging around. No one wants him here. Kane's not going to be happy. I doubt Debbie will be dancing a foxtrot. They've got enough on their plates with Sarah. They don't need any more trouble. Mm, that's why I remain single. Keep yourself to yourself. Makes life much easier. Oh, it can be nice having folk around, though. <laughs> Can't say I've noticed. Give it a rest, will ya? Look, if you don't like Laurel and the kids, just move out. How many more times I have not got a problem with Laurel or the kids? Well, you have. You just won't admit it. You can always stop with us if it gets too much, love. Oh, great. Yeah, another family that I don't belong to. Oh. Oh, there's no point in talking to her at Mooch's in. No, you better get off. Are you come in. After. Right. Me too. Thank <gasps> God, you can win John about not being made to feel wanted, and you can bang on about being jilted on your wedding night. I'll be kind to them, they're suffering. Hey, fancy getting bladdered. Oh, I'm halfway there, mate. Right, well, let's get a taxi into town and do it properly then. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. You can stop here and get wasted. Well, I'll rest bumping into Cameron. No, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? You want a fresh start? Fine. We are in nothing that you had when you were with me. Right, and this is going to make you feel better. God, I'd rather you were burning hell, but don't worry. That yeah. will come. Debbie, it's not worth it. Go on, tell them. Tell us what? Apparently, he's madly in love with Charles, and they're going to live happily ever after. Not if I've got anything to do with it. Come on, then. Let's get it out. Yeah. No, Kane, don't. Do you know what? You want to be very careful what you wish for. Come on. Whose is this? Mine. Thought it couldn't be Dad's. He had taste. Two sugars, isn't it? We don't do sugars anymore. Right. Sorry. This place. It's, like, smaller than I remember. Well, that's cos you've grown. Our place in Saudi is gigantic. We've got two pools. That's nice. You can have that if you want. No, you're OK. How was the flight? Yeah. Good. You were very quiet on the drive home. He's in shock. We all are. I'm... I'm fine. It's not like we really knew him, was it? No. I can't believe Chaz murdered him. What a bitch. Do you want to go and unpack? If I want to unpack, I'll do it. I don't need your permission. Right. Sorry. I'll take the cases up, shall I? We can look after ourselves. From now on, we're going to have to, aren't we? Come on. Well, there's towels on the bed. Anything else you need, just ask. How did it happen? Well, she must have had a reason. I need to know. Oh, we can talk about that later. Thomas, come on. Are you abandoning me as well? And that's us on the beach. Oh, Jean's balloon. That's what I said. She took you on big time. I said, Jean, for pity's sake, you've got a mirror. You must know how fat you are. <laughs> But look, TJ's a good-looking lad, isn't he? Oh, you know what? He'll be having girlfriends next. Well, to be honest, I think it might be boyfriends. Mm. Hello? Do you want me money? I do only have an hour for lunch. Oh, sorry, that's, uh, that's, uh, £4, pound, thanks. Can I treat? Why? Well, fine, if you want to waste your money. Well, there's gratitude for you. I'm an Americano. Skinny latte, more like. <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting your time there, mate. Hardly. Where's the competition? You all right? Have you not dropped dead yet? Hiya. I've been texting you. Have you? Yeah. I want to take you out for that drink, I promised. Why? 
So you can get the drunken cop off. Hey, come on. Not like that. Well, you were the last time. Adam, come on. I haven't got time for a coffee. It's OK, I'll make my own way back. Well, your mum wants you there now. I've got to go to the hospital. I wish she? Well, she's got a new bandana. A new bandana? What she need a new bandana for? Her hair's starting to fall out. Oh, come on, don't hang about. This ain't over. Yeah, whatever, you all talk. Mind ever join you? If you must. Have Thomas and Anya arrived? Mm, they're upstairs unpacking. Terrible thing for them to go through. If I can be of any help. You can't. Right, I... I won't interfere, then. Thanks, sir. Hey. We need to eat. We've not had anything all day. Just leave it. Do you think they're all right up there? I can't believe how much they've grown. It is a nightmare. I'm surprised you put up with her. We have to make allowances. She has just lost a dad. I'm sure she's not always like that. What are you going to tell them? They're not kids anymore. They deserve to know the truth. What? That their dad got murdered? Because he's a sex pest and a blackmailer. Probably not those exact words. He's gone. Oh, that's all they need to know. It's not like we could say anything good about him. Jimmy, they're going to want answers. You can't avoid it. People. Yeah. Nice afternoon. Yeah, I've had the best laugh I have had in ages. She defended my honour. Yeah, well, that girl wasn't worthy of you. Yeah, like I can be fussy. Hey, don't put yourself down. Not a bad catch with a few beers inside you. Pretty <laughs> Chaz didn't think so. Hey, enough of Chaz. Whew, it's quiet in here. Where's Laurel and that lovely little man? Arthur? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, they've gone to fetch the pizza. Oh, mm. but it's pepperoni. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get heavy or anything, but are you two in a fit state to be around a young child? <laughs> hey, don't worry, we didn't come back here to watch Flaming Ice Age 2. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bottle of vodka upstairs in my room. Your name on it, my name on it. Oh, great, a lady's boudoir, <laughs> lead the way. You go, she'll be up in a minute. <laughs> Careful. First room on the right. Uh, message received. <laughs> hey, hey. What? Oh, Teddy, what? Are you... I mean, will you not be better off with a black coffee? Hey! The night is but young. OK, so... Mm. You and him? Mm. What... What are you exactly? I don't think that's any of your business. Did I start asking you questions when you started knocking off Laurel? <laughs> no! Or is it different when I fetch a bloke home? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Of course not. Knock away. Hmm. Yeah, well, mm, I think I will, yeah, yeah. See you. Mm. Steady, steady, steady. Oh, Just... yeah, it's fine. Really sorry about this. Don't be daft. I love looking after him. Give Sarah my love. I will. I'll be back as quick as I can. Take your time. No problem. You don't know whether he's coming or going. Oh. Do you want to take him through? I'll join you when Priya gets here. Uh, I might have a quick drink first. Keep you company. Go on. Think he likes you? You know how I act like I don't want to speak to you ever again? There's a reason for that. Bobby was asking after you before. Think he fancies his chances. Well, what can I say? I'm a lad magnet. Mind you, I am quite picky. No chance. <sighs> you reckon? Hey, we've been getting pretty pally. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Straight up. Look, I'm being serious, OK? I, I like her. So do I. <laughs> well. You, my friend, are going to be very disappointed. Yeah. Bring it on, then. <laughs> oh, is she? Not good. Oh, I am 
honestly don't know how you managed to hold it together earlier on. No? With Cameron, just shrugging and walking away. Hang on, that's what you were telling me to do. Now you're saying you wanted me to deck it. Don't know. Well, if that's what you want, just say the word. But it's not what Debbie wants, though, is it? <sighs> Do you know this is breaking my heart? How dare he tell her that he loves Chaz? That poor little kid is in pieces. She'll get over him. All right, as easy as that. Don't know what you saw him in the first place. I'd say the same thing about you, frequently too. You don't choose who you fall in love with. Uh, uh, maybe not. Do you know the way I feel? I could quite easily grab a knife and stick it right through his cheating heart. <sighs> well, then she'd have an auntie and a mother doing time. He has hurt our little girl. Why are you so calm about this? Calm? Hardly. He's gonna get what's coming to him. When? When he least expects it. Oi. When have I ever been just talk? I want him to suffer. He will. Well, I want to be there when it happens. I'm not sure about that. No, 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 I'm being serious. You're not taking the glory. We do this together. OK. Here's the deal. I'll do some breakfast, shall I? Guys? Haven't you eaten yet? Jimmy's famous for his bacon sandwiches. Angel sorted. I've got to go. Why is Dad on this? Oh, it's that golf thing he won, isn't it? He loved his golf. Yeah. We used to punk off work, play around. Yeah, he liked to win you, Dad. <sighs> you could keep that. It's a nice watch. Oh, it's all right, isn't it? Of course. What can I have? Yeah, we'll, um... We'll find something for you, definitely. Right, uh... Uh... Can't you stay? I thought we could all do something together. I can't miss work. Nico, please. I'm sorry. You'll be OK. Good luck. I could do. I oh, know, I thought my ears were going to start bleeding. Yeah, but Arthur thought they were burglars. Really? Yes! Really? Yes! One blind, both drunk, singing at the top of the voices. They will be the worst no, burglars on, please, in the history of the world. No, come on, please, take me seriously. This is Sue. Morning, Morning. Any chance of some grub? Uh, yeah, help yourself. Well, oh, you were noisy last night, weren't you? How's that? It's a little bit easy, to be honest. Still, as long as it didn't start singing. Uh, sorry. Yeah, you see, Arthur ended up in our bed. He was quite scared, actually. But I did say to him, it was only you, and he just wanted to know what you were doing here. Ah, uh, right. So you told him me and Lizzie were training for a karaoke competition, then? Oh, excuse me. Make way, make way. I'm over a blind bird in desperate need of coffee. I want it and I need it now. Right, I'm on it. <laughs> oh, where's my lovely Danny on the scalper, does he? No chance, love. I'm waiting for me full English. Yeah. Oh, God, I haven't been called that before. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> it was a few minutes. Don't want to hear your excuses. And you know what? If you don't get moving, you're going to be late again. OK, Edna. Put a call into Ransoms now, please. I want to uh, discuss with them renegotiating the contract at some point. Oh, you can't. There's uh, still six months left to run. Really? OK, have I missed something here? Who put you in charge? This is not how Mr James does things. Mr James isn't here, though, is he? So I'm going to go to the hospital, make the call. Don't get in the way, they're busy. I can't take much more of this. I don't blame you. I don't know about Edna, but I'm pretty close to resorting to violence. Look, if we could get shot of her, this would be a family business. You've got to speak to him. Yeah. Morning. Oh, no time to chat. Fine. I'll just leave him here, then. Oh. I'll need a feed in about an hour. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. I can't do babysitting. I'm way too busy. Me too, so... Guess what, Grandad? 
Your turn now. Oh, Sarah. Uh, still having chemo. Still losing her. Give my love. And Debbie. I've heard Cameron's decided to stay. I bet that's the last thing she wanted to hear. Yeah, as long as it keeps away from me. Mm. Not too keen to come across him myself. Bye bye, sweetheart. That was for the baby, not you. Bought some of your clothes in. I've left them at the front desk. Okay, forget about the clothes. Listen, I've got some good news. Yeah, I've been in touch with a barrister. Now, he's expensive, but I reckon he'll do the business. We'll see. I mean, he has to look at all the details first, but his exact words were, I'll only take the case if I think I can win. <sighs> all right. Anyway, give me some more good news. Are you staying out of Cain's way? Yeah, of course, no problem. No, don't say it like that. This is important. He'll kill you, given half a chance. I can handle myself. It's you I'm worried about. Hey. Hey, talk to me. Well, I've made a new friend. Tracy. She's not my usual type, but she can string a sentence together. It's more than you can say for half the people in the warpath. Just a um, quick one, and then you're back in that kitchen. You see what I have to put up with? So, how's domestic bliss? Oh, yeah, it's lovely. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Although, probably not good for Ashley, though, I suppose. And the kids. I bet they get really confused, you know, who's my daddy today? <laughs> I believe it's time for your break. Not now. It's a bit early. No, it's time. OK. That's time. Who's my daddy today? Okay. Did you win? Okay. Who's my yeah. daddy today? And I could sit down, sit down. Look at the bright side. I think Chaz has probably pushed us off the front page. What? So you want me to feel better because Chaz is going through hell? No. What? No, 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 of course not, because that, that would be wrong. Should we just start again? Yeah. Right. Lizzie. I want to talk about Lizzie. Arthur was very confused this morning, having a strange man stumbling around our kitchen. OK, I completely get where you're coming from, but I, I don't think Lizzie should have to ask Arthur's permission if she wants to have a boyfriend. I know that. I'm still going to have to talk to her. What are you going to say? I don't know. It's hard, babe. I didn't know it was going to be this hard. Sorry. I hear the door closing on me at night. I hear it locking. I'm shaking. I feel sick. I just want to scream at them. What do you think you're doing? You can't leave me in here. You're the strongest woman I've ever met. Yeah? Then why am I so scared? I try and get to sleep, and what I can hear is women crying and yelling. The whole time, all I keep thinking about is what I've done. You haven't done anything wrong. I killed a man, Cameron. I killed him. You have no idea what that feels like. Right. Here we are. What's this? Carl's hip flask. He used to like a, a nip of whiskey at the ninth hole. Well, more of a swig, really. I thought he could use it for, uh, juice. He gets a watch. Must be worth loads. And I get this. Your dad loved it. So? Here we go. Double chocolate sundaes. We're not kids. No, no, clearly you're not, no. But uh, oh, chocolate sundae sort of works its magic on all ages, doesn't it? I, I know how hard this must be for you. Yeah, I'm not hungry. I don't know what to say to them. I know, it's difficult, oh. isn't it? Remember how it was with TJ? Oh, this is different. I barely know these kids. And everybody loved Terry. Nobody loved Carl. So, when are me and you going to get some time? Time? Oh, time. Uh, I could take an hour off right now. An hour? Ten minutes should do it. <laughs> Victoria, I need to take a break. Oh, sorry, my shift's finished. I'm due at the B&B. &B. Hey? Bye! No, hang on, Vic... Oh. You're fine. 
following me? I would follow you anywhere. Ah, oh, well, that'd be stalking. How's life with Mummish looking after you? How's life scrubbing toilets? Must be a right laugh. What are you even doing there? Does Declan know? Who cares? Do you want a drink later? I'm late. You never answer my question, though. See you later. When's his funeral? You what? Carl's funeral. You don't want to be thinking about that stuff. A couple of days. Colleen and the kids come over? Just the kids. They must hate me. Hey, this... This is as bad as it gets, right? Yeah? From here on, things get better. Try telling that to Debbie. How's she coping? You know. No, Cameron. I don't know. What's happened? Don't lose it. I told her that you and me were back together and she, um, sort of trashed my truck. She trashed your truck? It's no big deal. No, this is exactly what I was worried about happening. It's just the start of it. I knew this would happen if you didn't leave. Hey, I said it's no big deal. Right, so you pay for that fancy lawyer and that's it. You're potless. How are you going to live? I think of something. Like what? I don't know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm looking at spending the next 20 years of my life stuck in here while you're out there with Kane ready to get you without even the money for a cup of tea. You want something? You're Chaz's brother. Thomas, right? Why did she do it? Tell me. Ask Jimmy. Oh, he's no good. He's not saying anything. I need to know. You sure about that? She killed my dad. I'm not going anywhere till you tell me what happened. Fine. Your sister's a murderer. She was defending herself. What are you talking about? <sighs> right. It was either trying to rape her or batter her. You happy then? No. No way. You asked. You're lying. Look, I'm about the only one round here who won't lie to you. Do you really think he was going to rape her? Yeah. Yeah, I do. No. You'd never... I can't believe you'd do that. Believe what you like. I'm sorry, kid. You don't get to choose who your dad is. You just have to put up with what you get, don't you? What am I supposed to do now? Go to his funeral. Look after your sister. Get on a plane, fly home and forget this place ever existed. I don't know what else you want me to say. It. Chocolate doesn't cure hangover. Another drink, eh? That's what we need. Oh, yeah, now you're talking. Long, cool beer, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah. Lizzie! Hm? Oh, come on, Laurel. Spit it out. You've been wanting to say something all day. Yes, I have. It's, it's just that I feel a little bit awkward about you and Dan coming home drunk and disturbing Arthur in the middle of the night. Yeah, no more singing after midnight. I get it, Lord, fair enough. Yeah, sorry about that. Even I don't like my voice. But he was all right, wasn't he? It's just that he wanted to know why Dan was staying the night, and I found it very difficult to explain why. Shall I put her out of her misery? Come on. Nothing happened. Nothing was ever likely to happen. Dan was just too drunk to get home. He passed out on the bedroom Look, floor. No, but that's none of my business, is it? I just... You know, the point is, I just wondered if you could give me a little bit of notice hey. next time. No, yes, like a know, This is tricky for me. It's my home and all. She has got a point. Yes, thank you, Dan. I know she has. <sighs> when he was a kid, he could always get out of trouble with that grin. That's who I miss. A kid that could grin like that. Whatever happened to him? 
Thomas, come and have a look at this. I'll get copies framed for you both. I saw Kane at the garage. You don't want to listen to him. He said Dad was going to rape Chaz. Is it true? Thomas. Is it true? It can't be. <sighs> it's complicated. Well, tell us. Honestly, you're better off not asking. Please, Jimmy. Tell us. Here. Carl found out that Chaz was having an affair. He was upset. The truth is, he still loved her. So he'd never hurt her? This wasn't the real Carl. He changed. He was obsessed. He'd started... He was blackmailing her. They met up. They had a fight. Well, people fight. Doesn't mean he was going to rape her. Chaz says that that's what he was going to do. Well, she would say that. Why'd you believe her? You know what she did. She'd say anything to get out of it. I'm sorry. In the months before he died, your dad had become so bad-tempered, so nasty to Chaz, to me, to everyone around him. I wish with all my heart that I could tell you something else. But I believe her. I believe he was either gonna rape her or kill her. What do you want? Make it quick. The money that Chaz took, she wanted you to have it back. Big of her. What are you waiting for? A receipt? There is something else, but Chaz is going to call you. I can tell I'm not going to like this. She wants me to have all of her income from the pub. Uh, I'm sorry? I take the cash, I look after her interests. Hold on a minute. I didn't ask for this. Then don't take it. It's what Chaz wants, and right now that's all that matters to me. I don't know what you think looking after her interests means, but do me a favour. Find a different pub to drink in. This is my local. And when Chaz gets out in self-defence, she's going to be back behind that bar doing her job. You might want to get used to that idea. Bria. Right. Jacob's at a mate's. Do you reckon you could get some time off now? Oh, I could give it a try. Here's your chance. Um, Diane. If I'm you're not, about I'm... to ask for a break, don't. I'm not in the mood. What can I get you? Well, Catonic, what's up with you? I've been talking to our friend Cameron. It turns out he's going to get Chaz's income while she's inside. You what? She owns half the pub. If she wants to give him her money, there's nothing I can do about it. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. And I'm not having it. No way. I don't think we've got any choice. Right. We're all reasonable people here. Nice people. I think with a little bit of give and take, we can come to a sensible solution that keeps everybody happy. What do you say? Marlon, you're not helping. I think it's probably best you let us deal with it. Right you are. So, supposing I'm met somebody and, and I wanted to bring him back here. Yeah. Are you saying that might be a problem? I'm really sorry, but the truth is yes. I mean, Arthur has had so much change lately. I just want to give him a bit of stability. I understand. I just can't really see a way around it. Well, the little man's needs come first, obviously, yeah. So what... Sorry, can I... Can I speak? The... I mean, what we're going to do? <laughs> Look, you two have been brilliant. I mean, you've included me in everything, and I'm really grateful for that. But I mean, it's clear you you don't need a lodger getting whoa, in your whoa, way. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's not true. No, listen. You've had a rubbish time, and you're still not sorted. Arthur's not settled. Gabby's not happy. You know, the last thing you need is me getting in your way. I've uh, spoken to Jude, sorted out the order of service. Can you have a look at it, make sure you're happy? Uh, and then you've just got to come up with a eulogy. Also, um, 
I'm sorry, but I need to talk to you about the business. It's not fair on my dad and Edna. Jimmy, have you heard a word I've said? Sorry. Something happened? <sighs> Kane spoke to Thomas. He came back in a state, full of questions. I had to tell them everything. Him and Anya. I had to tell them what Carl did, what he almost did. Mm. Have you any idea how that felt? It must have been awful. <sighs> I was talking to Anya before Thomas showed up about how he used to make me laugh. And... Look at this. Look at that smile. It was me brother, Nico, and I loved him. But I heard myself telling his old kids that he was a rapist. There you go. Cheers. Well, you got out of the king's business at the right time. I don't know. I bet you haven't been bored lately. Oh, being bored would make a pleasant change. I don't know how much more of that woman I can take. Oh, that she can't be that bad. Well, <laughs> she'd have you for breakfast. <laughs> I think I've seen enough of you for one day. Just want to know if Chaz has called you. Diane, don't you give him any money, all right? I mean, what's she going to do, sue you? Go away, Chaz. No, I really don't think that's going to happen. Do you know why? Because while you're still in this village, I am going to be in your face every time you turn around, reminding you what a worthless piece of scum you are. You hearing this? I broke Debbie's heart. Don't even mention her name. Sorry. But you and Kane, I mean, you got there first, though, right? I mean, you've been making her life a misery <gasps> since Don't long before I met dare. her. Right? I mean, even from day one, you couldn't wait to get rid of her. Although, prostitute with a baby, it's not really a good look, is it? Do you know what I mean? And then when you did finally get her back, you caused her nothing but grief and pain again and again Do you know what? and again you and again. Me. The truth is, Debbie's alive despite you, not because of you. And the rest of you, I'm sorry Carl's dead. I truly am. I'm, I'm sorry. But you know what it was like? There was no choice. There was no choice. There was no choice. And I'm going to get her out because she's done nothing wrong. And when she comes out, we're going to be together. And if anyone's got a problem with that, you can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs>